today's video we are going to check out what is system ui tuner and how you can enable that how you can use that what are the pros and cons so system ui tuner is actually uh, some kind of tweaks hidden tweaks we can say that uh, uh, your os manufacturer uh, if you just take here for example of google so which does uh, you know um, make it hidden so that uh, once user enable on their own risk so they can get to know the feedback whether that feature is a uh, particularly working fine or not so in that way they can easily enable that feature in upcoming versions of the android so uh, this is the reason behind system UI tuner and uh, it depends on your os manufacturer uh, it's completely since android is free so anybody can tweak that so i will show you here how different kinds of manufacturer do that so not all but two to three manufacturer i will show you so first of all uh, this is android nougat running nexus 6 here. so uh, when you enable system ui tuner you will see this inside the system setting here right here you can see so right now it is not enabled to enable system ui tuner you need to first swipe down your uh, quick notification panel and uh, you see a gear icon right here so you need to uh, press it couple of seconds uh, until you see it is spinning so i'm just going to do it in front of you all right so just watch it carefully so you can see uh, right now it is spinning so when i leave it that way so i will get some notification congress system ui tuner has been added to settings you can see it's easily came here all right now if you just go inside it will give you some kind of warning so this kind of you know experimental features clearly mentioned here just click understood here and right now you get this kind of feature so i uh, as told here earlier uh, depends on your os manufacturer you make a different kind of stuff here so this is android nougat the original us android so these are the different stuffs are here so we will see here the status bar you can see now uh, i will just just want to show you guys here first of all let me just turn on my wi-fi so if you don't want uh, your status bar to be cluttered with a lot of you know notifications you can easily turn off the wi-fi see it is gone from here all right this cast is running i want to disable this here cast here. and some important points here you can see by default the battery percentage is not shown here so i can simply click here on the battery and click on this always show percentage now i can easily uh, feel this battery percentage okay and uh, further if we just go down here this is further entry so as you can see right now only hours and minutes are displayed on the status bar if i just click here and show our minute and second if you guys are very peculiar about seconds to seconds definitely this feature is for you so as you can see this is how you, you can get that and let me show you some important feature one of the biggest feature that i personally like with the android nougat so go inside others you'll get this couple of features here this is called uh, enable split screen swipe up gesture so this is how you can do it if you just swipe above it will toggle to the, this zero multi window if you just again toggle back or uh, just leave it that way it will exit so if you disable that it won't do that see so you need to uh, swipe it that way swipe to enable gestures feature so this is an experimental feature but anyway i like that and this is also the first important feature power notification control so when it is turned on click here i can easily control uh, which of the how the google will notify me that gmail stuff by default it is automatic move to level 2 0 1 2 so if i just do it here i won't see this complete notification just the status bar if i remove it that one i won't get notified at all if i do it here i'll get vibrations sounds and other stuff so there is a detailed video guys make sure to check that out and let me make it automatic and turn so this is how it's done so now this we have seen this on this uh, nexus 6 uh, android nougat now we'll try to see on the android marshmallow so this is uh, oneplus 3 running android marshmallow so steps are same you can see by default system ui tuner has been uh, enabled that so first of all let me show you how you can remove that so steps are same you need to uh, just click here on the gear icon couple of seconds here you can see it's spinning so you can ask for uh, want to remove from feature yes you can remove and you can see it's gone from here so now again how to turn that on you can see the battery percentage gone here so turn that on again you can just have to press it here and actually this is a community build of oxygen 3.5.2 so if i just press it here you can see spinning again so sometimes uh, is you know it's a bit of tricky here uh, i guess it's not enabled here so because i did not get yeah it's not enabled here so i will just go and do it for a while and leave it again so i should get this enable here now if you get inside here so steps are different here and you can see and so as you can see they have directly as shown here so embedded battery percentage so on uh, nugget it was some in so they can change it bit away so now you can see battery percentage shown and here they have not given much feature demo mode is that you can enable demo mode for example if you're taking a screenshot and also if you just turn that on so these things won't change so you can see it's 100 percentage even though my battery is not 100 percentage so once you need to do that uh, this will be actually benefit for developers who you know works on a lot of development stuff so they usually use these feature 
Now we'll see some other features like if you disable the Cinebal demo mode and get inside. So there's not much further option. So this is simple here. So and also guys, let me show you important point here and uh, not all manufacturers support this. So taking example here, this is uh, another uh, smartphone. So this is actually Micromax cheapest Android phone when it was taken. If you just get inside, I'm not able to enable that you can see. Even if I uh, press uh, so hard, it's always taking me to the settings here. You can see I'm already clicking here. It's not working at all. So uh, I guess that depends on your system manufacturer, OS manufacturer. So developer option is there, but there is no system I tuner. So you need to check according to your manufacturer OS whether it supports or not. So that's all guys for this video. Hope you guys understand what I want to show you guys. So try to use system UI tuner. It's fun to use that. Some features are really very helpful. So this is startup and I'll catch you very soon. Thanks for watching.